Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sarah, Beautiful Disaster. I um, just wanted to check in with you really quick. So with everything going on, I think it's really important that everyone uh, have a couple of tips when it comes to telecommuting. So, and I actually was going over this in my office the other day, and I thought it would be really good advice for everybody on the channel as well. So, a couple of things. One, I telecommuted for four years when I was with United Healthcare. So both from here in Seattle doing some home visits, but mainly working from home. And then when I was in Columbus, purely doing from home work. Um, so a couple things. First of all, make sure you dedicate a space. Like right now I'm not in a space I would prefer, but it, it works. There's a couple reasons for this. One, it helps get you into the mindset of the fact that you are at work. Two, it also separates home from work, which is incredibly important, and I'll go into that in a minute. Two, distraction-free. So anything that you would normally do in an office, you need to also be doing while you're at home. Clean up your desk, don't you know? do your breaks on time, take your lunches on time. Don't do your chores in between stuff. Don't, I mean, and I tried that for a couple of years too. It doesn't work. I mean, like, I, I was able to make dinner or whatever on, like, 15-minute breaks or or whatever, but dedicated time is uninterrupted. Your children shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be, you know, taking personal phone calls. Anything that you wouldn't do at your office, you shouldn't be doing at home. Three, make sure your separate space is separate enough that you can still, and I have preached this to every person I have coached as an employee across the board, you need to be able to have a separate Work life versus home life, which means for me, it was always came down to when I would walk through my front or walk through my door to leave work. That meant I was going home. No more work. This is a really hard one to do, especially for those of us who have access to our computers when we normally wouldn't have access to them. You want to make sure that you're cutting that off. So work hours are important. Stick to a routine, but also make sure you have separate space. Don't be bringing all of your work negativity into a space where you're going to try to sleep later. And as you can tell, or you probably can't tell, I'm already breaking that rule. <laughs> but I have a hard time sleeping anyway, so my stress level really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, but anyway, those are kind of the key things. Um, take care of yourself. Still make sure you're, again, taking breaks, getting lunch, doing the things you're supposed to do. If you have an hour-long lunch, step outside. Highly, highly, highly suggest you do that. Don't just sit in your house all day. Um, but again, it's really important to have a routine, really important to have a structured work day. So I always go into my Outlook and schedule out my day when I'm telecommuting. That's how it was for four years, how it is now. It's why I'm successful at telecommuting. Um, I make sure my boss knows where I am. I make sure my boss knows exactly what I'm doing. I'm still doing exactly what I would be doing if I was at work. My production is right where it's supposed to be at. Anything deliverables that I'm supposed to be doing are still being done on time. We're checking in via Skype, which is something we uh, I used to do. We used to do um, Jabber, though. Um, you know, making sure that you're doing being accountable for your time as well, but make, keep yourself accountable to everything that you're supposed to be doing. Uh, and you'll do fine. Telecommuting doesn't have to be complicated. It really, really doesn't. The main thing is just separate your work from your home. Give yourself time. Just don't do distractions and, you know, and you'll be okay. We're going to get through this. And this all, by the, by the way, is coming from somebody who was also homeschooled for um, seventh grade until I graduated from high school. Uh, I'm sure I drove my mother nuts. In fact, I know for a fact I drove my mother nuts. I'm still a, uh, still a successful human being. I'm a social worker. I don't have any issues with social interaction. Uh, well, mostly I don't have issues with social interaction. You guys drive me crazy when I'm not at work and then that... But anyway, um, you know, those types of things. But... These things will pass. I know it's really cliche, but if we're all doing these things, we're all banding together and we're being uncomfortable for a little bit of time, we won't be uncomfortable for a really long time, if that makes any sense. So do your thing, telecommute, enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that you can do these. And if you have neighbors and people that can't do it, give them some extra support. You know, if you have people that are older who are scared and are stuck at home, maybe go drop a meal down at their door or something like that. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. Have a good one.